Hi guys, I know it's pretty late, but I really just wanted to come to you guys with this tutorial on this new addition that I have to my hair care um, family of products, I guess. And I came home from work and I was so surprised, so my mom surprised me with this present my aunt got me. Oh, it's peeking out already. And that is my aloe vera plant, as you can see. It's really healthy. The leaves are really thick. It's so gorgeous and green. I don't know if my camera's showing the color. Because right now I don't have natural light. But oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm just going to hold it and talk to you guys. It's like my baby. Okay, so you're probably wondering, um, why the heck do you even have a aloe vera plant? What's the benefits of aloe vera? Well, if you see a lot of leaves on YouTube are talking about aloe vera gel, and they start off with the aloe vera um, fruit of the earth gel, which isn't like pure aloe vera gel, and then they go on to like I think it's called Nature Valley gel, which is where I started, and it's organic gel I got from like Vitamin Shop. It's like four six dollars a pop for like a four ounce maybe six ounce bottle. Hundred percent aloe vera gel, maybe like a little bit of preservatives in it. And I mean, aloe vera is like the most moisturizing properties ever. Like, and I think it's a little bit of protein in it, but it won't affect you if you're protein sensitive. But like, aloe vera makes your your new growth especially so soft. I stretched from last year when I got a relaxer in June to all the way to March. And when I mean like I had no issues with my new growth, I had none because it just made my new growth so easy to um detangle through because aloe vera is a really good detangler you can mix it in your conditioner shampoos leave-ins you can make i make um a leave-in spritz with the aloe vera gel that's what i do and let's just start with like the benefits of aloe vera one it's a detangler two it moisturizes three it causes hair growth because it stimulates your scalp which causes you know blood to flow to your scalp which causes um circulation and your hair to grow so aloe vera has a lot of wonderful properties and i never like you know i read about someone let me try it for myself i did this leave on um, this spritz that I found which was rose water aloe vera gel and your oil choice and sometimes a conditioner and when i mean like my hair was so soft especially my new growth it was my braid outs it just looked so totally different then i started to know how my hair felt was like the texture was just changing, and I was wondering why, and that's because aloe vera is pH balanced, which matches the pH of your hair, so I think we're like a 4 or 5, I'm not sure, and aloe vera is the exact same pH as I hear, so it's a wonderful um, ingredient to put into lots of your mixtures and conditioners because it helps balance your, um, your products for your hair. What else? I know a lot of people do aloe vera rinses, they, um, take the aloe vera gel itself and use it to gel on the hair as like a natural gel instead of buying like you know drying gels with alcohol but I know a lot of companies are listening now and they're making gels without alcohol so it doesn't dry out our hair but it's a natural like gel that you don't have to worry about oh my god I rinsed my hair out what I use aloe vera gel for is I um when I have my hair in like half wigs or wigs I will take the gel itself on my hands and I'll just like rub it on my scalp and I didn't notice that it was like promoting hair growth so I'll take my hair out of like my half wig and you know out the braids and I'll wash it and I'll be like wow like my hair is like a lot fuller so easy to detangle that's I think like the best part of aloe vera gel and it's so natural so I don't know how much the plant costs but I will ask my aunt so tomorrow when I do my review I'll come to you guys and let you know but definitely definitely I think everybody if not the plant should have aloe vera juice or gel as a staple. I know people use it for dietary reasons. It helps with damaged hair internally for your body. I don't, but what I will say is I have a lot of blemishes and like acne scars on my face. And trust me, once a night, put some aloe vera gel on your face before you go to bed, and it will definitely help clear out the blemishes within at least like two to three weeks. And significantly, over time, you'll see it start to fade, and that's what I was doing. But it's definitely, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could, like, feel this. But, like, when I cut when I cut the plant open and I make my spritz, you will just see how, like, oh, I'm, like, squeezing it. That's, like, how thick and plush it is. And um, 
to care for this because it's kind of like a cactus like plant it's not that hard i'm gonna have this in my dorm so it'll be in a nice warm area because me and my roommate like the room to be nice and hot but i cannot wait to just show you guys the inside of this plant i'm so excited but i hope this video just helped tell you guys a little bit of why i'm going to invest in an aloe vera plant I hope it inspires you to go out, buy your own aloe vera plant, or just start. I'm going to put a picture in of the bottle that I have at home right now in my fridge. Oh, one more thing I forgot. Aloe vera gel has to be refrigerated. So whether you have the bottle, as soon as you open it, you have to... Oh my gosh, I just cracked over the plant. And like, all this, um, did you see, did you see that? Oh my gosh, and once you like crack it open, they said if you cut it, you have to use it right away. So I guess this will be the um, the piece I'll be using. But if you can just... If you see that, that's the inside of this beautiful plant. And I'm just going to like show you my finger. And you see like, oh my gosh. I guess it's a little delicate. You have to be careful. I was playing around with it. Okay, this video is getting long. All right, guys. So stay tuned tomorrow for, you know, an update of how I make my aloe vera spritz and my one-week review of my hair. Thank you guys to all the YouTube subscribers that I have. I can't believe this is growing. And I have over a 1,000 views. So I want to do something special. So you guys have any ideas, just let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye. She got, she got